I always wanted to be an illustrator. For as long as I can remember, I've drawn pictures and I loved books. Funny thing is I didn't actually like reading books, but I liked looking at the pictures and I loved it when my parents read stories to me. Uh, I spent a lot of my childhood drawing pictures and even occasionally making my own books when I was around seven or eight years old. When I grew up, I approached several children's publishers about illustrating books for them. One of them, Scholastic, told me that I wasn't actually an illustrator. They thought I was a writer. Uh, I didn't believe them. However, they really, really wanted me to try writing. So I did. The big question was, what should I write? I didn't particularly feel like I had a story to tell. Certainly nothing that I had to say. So I wrote a lot of terrible books. And I mean really bad. They were really, really bad. Hopefully, nobody ever sees them. Then one afternoon, my three-year-old daughter, Hermione, came into my studio while I was drawing. And she looked at my sketchbook and she said, Daddy, draw grumpy things. She wanted me to draw a grumpy lion, a grumpy snake, a grumpy alarm clock, um, a grumpy bear, and finally, I drew a grumpy bird. And the bird made both of us laugh. And I don't often laugh when I'm drawing pictures. So I asked myself, what would happen if a bird was grumpy? I wonder if birds get grumpy. Then I thought about Scholastic and how they wanted me to try writing. So I wrote a book about a bird who is too grumpy to fly. He goes for a walk, he has an adventure, and eventually he cheers up. To my amazement, Scholastic loved the story of the bird. And to my continued amazement, they published it, and people bought it. And since Grumpy Bird was so successful, Scholastic asked me whether I wanted to do any more books about this bird. I thought about how Bird was so grumpy in the first book. Maybe I should write another book where he has another emotion. So Boohoo Bird is about being sad, but of course, being Bird, he gets grumpy or angry again. Hungry Bird is about being so hungry that you can't control your emotions. Sleepy Bird is about being too tired to control your emotions. In other words, these are all true stories. As for drawing and designing my art, it's kind of hard to explain. I rely heavily on intuition, I suppose. I don't sketch my scenes or characters with a pencil first. Instead, I draw directly with ink and brush on paper. This means I often have to do a lot of drawings because I make a lot of mistakes. Sometimes big mistakes, usually just small things where I'm just, just not happy with the picture when it's done. It means I often have to throw things away and start again. Sometimes I'll draw the same character as many as 20 times before I'm happy with it. Then I scan my favorite drawings into the computer, and the rest is simply a matter of moving them around on the page until it looks right. And then this is followed by coloring everything. Actually, coloring is my favorite part. I love coloring. All the hard decisions have been made at that point. Mostly, I think I just want them to have fun. My goal isn't really to educate, although if they can learn a little bit along the Along the way, that's okay. Um, I think uh, my books show children that those big difficult emotions are normal and that it's okay to feel that way. But mostly, I just want to show kids that books are fun. And hopefully, that will make them more interested in books when they're older. Do I have tips for people who want to write picture books? I think the most important thing about picture books is telling the truth. You've got to be honest with your audience. Children especially deserve honesty. Um, the other advice I can offer is to tell the stories you want to tell. Don't worry about the message the book gives unless that's the most important thing to you. Um, don't write something because you think it'll sell lots of copies. You never know what audiences will respond to. Um, you might also be pleasantly surprised. So yeah, write what you want to write. And finally, learn to be okay with rejection. I have written a lot of books. Most of them have not been very good. Some of them have been terrible. So when a publisher says they're not interested, yeah, I'm okay with that. I just put the project away and move on to the next one. And sometimes I'll go back to it years, or possibly even months later, and take another look at it and realize that, yeah, actually this could be better. And sometimes I know how to fix it. But 
You've got a lot of stories to tell. Don't get stuck on the first one. And finally, have fun. This is all about having fun.